I hope everyone can hear me. Um, so again, thank you for spending your time and your busy schedule to join us in our FC MAMR Head Technology uh, event. Uh, I just want to let you know that this event is being recorded so that we can webcast and uh, upload to our website uh, at a later date. Um, the presentation material that's uh, going to be shown today will be available after the event. Um, I'll be sending that out after uh, we get this done. Um, just to give you a little idea of the format of the event, the first 15 minutes or so will be a presentation. Um, and then the second 15 minutes, we'll try to spend on question and answers from our attendees, okay? Uh, during the question and answer session, if you could raise your hand, I'll go ahead and try to uh, get through as many questions as possible. Um, for the time being, if everybody could keep their microphones on mute so that the presenter can uh, uh, present without too much background noise, okay? Um, as a reminder, um, Takeo-san will not be answering or commenting on any of our competitors' technology or strategy. So again, uh, I just want to make that clear that uh, we will not be addressing any of that in our presentation and our Q&A session, okay? So at this point, I'd like to introduce our speaker, uh, Mr. Akihiko Ta uh, Takeo. Uh, he's been working with Toshiba since 1995. He's worked on many projects, and from 1995 through 2007, he was uh, developing the practical application of perpendicular magnetic recording using our Toshiba hard disk drives, as well as others. Uh, since 2011, Mr. Takeo has been working on implementing the use of memory technology in our HEDs. So uh, without further delay, I'd like to hand over the microphone and the screen here to Mr. Takeo of Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage. Okay, so Takeo-san, uh, stage is all yours. Okay, uh, thank you, John. And thank you all for your time and interest for today's our event. So today's, I would like to explain introducing Mama Head technology from Toshiba. So uh, this is our product specification of the MZ09 series. Uh, we achieved the uh, 18 terabyte data capacity with a nine pattern mechanical design. So uh, drive data capacity increases from 16 terabyte to 18 terabyte with Toshiba's innovative flux control microwave assisted magnetic recording. We call it FC MAMA technology. So today I would like to mainly present what FC MAMA is. So uh, FC MAMA technology is an uh, idea to improve the recording head performance. So uh, left top figure shows the top surface view of the disc with the loading head suspensions. And right top figure shows the enlarged view from the side portion of the disc and head. And uh, uh, left bottom, uh, right bottom figure shows the enlarged uh, recording head structure like this. So this is conventional uh, perpendicular magnetic recording head structures. Once light electrical current induced to the light core, uh, recording flux will be generated through the uh, head yoke and the main pole. And uh, uh, most of the magnetic recording flux towers to the uh, surface of the recording median of the disks. And uh, for the MG09, we added the MAMA element, which called STO, spin torque oscillator, in the light gap like this. And we also apply the bias current through the STO by the uh, bias voltage source. So in the next slide, uh, I would like to explain how FC MAMA works. FC MAMA is a flux control microwave assist magnetic recording. So this is an enlarged view of the recording head structure around the STO. The STO mainly consists of the two magnetic recording layers, which are called 
field generation layer, FGL, and the spin injection layer, SIL, with some spacers. As I explained before, once light current induced, the magnetic recording flux towards the medium surface mainly, this purpose of a purple hour. Also, some stray flux goes through the light shield directly through the light gap. Uh, if there are no bias current, the magnetization of the FGL uh, remains oriented towards the gap flux direction. Then, once we induce the bias current, uh, the spin polarized electron uh, reflects from the surface of the SIL to the FGL. This spin transfer torque uh, makes the uh, FGL magnetization start to oscillate it like this. And this is how ST work. Then this oscillated FGL magnetization also changes the recording flux direction like this. And to the opposite direction of the initial direction, like close to the 180 degree. So uh, this uh, almost flipped magnetization of the FGL prevents the uh, recording flux, the recording flux through the light gap. So then more recording flux concentrated to the surface of the medium size. We call this, uh, then this uh, like recording uh, ability uh, getting better. So we call this effect as a FC effect, flux control effect. To obtain FC effect better, FGA oscillation angle should be controlled as uh, close to the 180 degrees. This is how uh, FC MAMA works. Then next, uh, Actually, the original proposed MAMA effect is a little bit different from the, our FC MAMA. So in this slide, I'd like to explain, also explain the how mass MAMA, uh, microwave-assisted switching MAMA works, and the different from the FC MAMA. So mass MAMA is uh, uh, close to the original proposed MAMA concept. Basically, the STO structure and the FGO uh, oscillation physics is the same as a FC MAMA, as I explained in the previous page. The important difference is how uh, mass MAMA work is uh, the oscillation, FG oscillation angles. So the oscillation angle of the FCG magnetization should be controlled around the 19 degree, which is almost in the same plane as the rotation in the FGL film. Then this in-plane component of the FGL uh, oscillation generates the microwave towards to the recording media, which makes a, a magnetic resonance effect between the STO and the medium magnetization. So uh, this oscillation angle will be determined by the balance of the uh, spin polarized uh, energy and the microfield external microfield energy. So to obtain the uh, maximized ma uh, mass, ma ma uh, mass effect gain, uh, we need to keep the oscillation angle uh, close to the 90 degree. And also to realize the FC MAMA uh, effect for the hard disk drive, we need additional development work uh, for to control the FC oscillation frequency and the media, uh, magnetic media is further developed to optimize the magnetic resonance property. So Toshiba has settled on mass MAMA as a next step for the hard disk drive recording technology. And this page shows a brief summary to explain the FC MAMA and the mass MAMA. So STO can exhibit FC, both FC and mass effect uh, simultaneously, out-of-plane component of the FGA oscillation determines the uh, effect and amplitude of the FC effect, and the in-plane component of the FGA magnetization will be determined the amplitude of the microwave and the effect of the uh, mass. 
So for MG09, we designed the FGA rotation angle toward to the, uh, close to the 180 degree uh, to obtain the FCA effect as dominant in Toshiba first generation of MAMA technology. The left table shows the comparison of the FC MAMA and mass MAMA. Compare with the FC, uh, mass MAMA, FC MAMA shows a relatively small ADC gain. In the case of the FC MAMA, we can utilize uh, conventional PMR uh, perpendicular magnetic recording media as a oscillation frequency generation is not uh, yet required. On the other hand, mass MAMA has great potential of the ADC growth as a further media optimization uh, and further media optimization will be necessary. For the head fabrication, both FC MAMA and mass MAMA required similar STO structure, mass ele MAMA element structure, as I explained before. And this MAMA element fabrication process is quite similar to conventional lead head element process. So this is feasible for the mass production and its reliability characteristics are also similar to a conventional lead head and well aligned with the customer's requirement. And the light figure shows our expected technology trend of the assist recording in near line hard disk drive. FC MAMA still have some additional ADC gain potential compared with uh, our first product on the MZ09 for the next generation. And Toshiba also intend to apply the mass MAMA for the HDD near future to advance data capacity growth for the future generation. So MAMA technology is reliable and cost effective and provided extendable ADC growth technology for the future. And this is all my presentation. Thank you very much. So Thank you, Takeo-san. So at this moment, um, if there are any questions, uh, more than happy to start uh, taking fielding questions. Um, so if you could go ahead and either raise your hand or unmute, unmute your mic and ask your question. What's the highest capacity you think you could get to with uh, FC MAMA? Uh, I cannot say the exact number right now, but uh, our rough estimation, we could increase about the 20% of the uh, data capacity and area density by FCMAM technology if we apply this as a CMR uh, style of the hard disk drive. Takeo san, uh, there was a question. Um... How narrow do you believe you can scale the write gap with FC MAMA? Uh, you mean the gap length? The, the, the write gap. Write gap. Uh, the write gap length is the uh, same as conventional uh, perpendicular magnetic recording heads. We just uh, uh, input the quite thinner uh, magnetic layer on the FC and the SI in the write gap. When do you expect to have mass MAMR available? Oh, right now I cannot commit the actual uh, year or date, but. We